Welcome to my style clinic. Now today, what we're gonna do is get ladies all over the world to ask me style dilemmas. You've all been here before. Well, some of you have been here before. And I'm just going to get you, if you feel you have a style dilemma, the focus today and the lady I'm going to try and get hold of first, um, who's gonna start off this conversation is Jess, who, um, has, is a breast cancer survivor. And this is really a part of our Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's towards the end of the month. We've done a lot of different things, but I think there's stages in a woman's life we lose our confidence about dressing. And it could be it's because you've gone through an illness. It could be because you've been in lockdown for a long time and you're feeling that you've lost your sense of style. I was listening this morning to Mia Friedman in Australia and she was saying, I just don't know who I am dressing anymore and this is a woman I look at and many of you might know her if you're from Australia thinking she just wears the most colorful things and looks fab so we all go through it I go through it I'm going through it right now in some dis instances I have a ton of clothes to choose from so I can shop in my wardrobe and think you know who do I want to be today but it is at that redefining of yourself that's the way I'm going to put it so we're going to take questions from the floor and we're going to um, go from there, and it's a bit of a free for all. Jess, hi, hi Trini. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm fantastic. It's so great to see you, and it's so great to be on your show. You know how much I admire fantastic. you. And... Jess, where are you based, darling? I am based in Kildare in Ireland. In Kildare in Ireland. Yes. Now, Jess, you are a breast cancer survivor. I am. You are. And tell and me slightly. what. What is the question, my love, that you'd like to ask me? Uh, the question I want to ask you, I think, number one, I know you love yellow and I know you love colour. And I have trained as a stylist since I met you, but I struggle with finding colour. And I know yellow is your favourite colour. So I have one, two things in yellow that I want to show you yep. that I'm not quite sure how okay. they really suit me. So this okay. is kind of like a nasty greeny yellow. Yep. Now, Very can you come? Yellow. What I'd love you to do, Jess, is come up close and let me see. So you've got brown eyes, kind of greeny eyes. Greeny eyes. Yes, greeny eyes. You've got cool dark hair, and you're sort of like what I call porcelain olive. Okay. You've got the Irish blood that can tan. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I think exactly. that I like that yellow on you. I think that yellow actually, when you put it up, I thought yes because you're wearing a lilac, which has that cool tone in it as well. And it suits you. And when, you, when I saw you first of all, and I'm sure the audience saw you, I thought to myself, that's great, that color on you. Now the yellow, I think would work. And maybe more than a daffodil, you know, that sort of orangey yellow, which mm -hmm. might just be, just drain you. And a pastel yellow might drain you too. You've got another color you want to show me though, haven't you? I've got this yellow. So <laughs> I've invested. But do they go together? Probably... Can you put one with the other? I don't think so. No, because the bottom. A clash. Yeah, the bottom is more the sort of yellow of my Prada coat. It's going towards daffodil. So if you wore that, that lilac shirt with the yellow skirt, can you put that on for me now? Sure. I love it. Go on, Jess. Do you Let's want to see well. this? Oh, for God's sake. I do, because I'm looking at those two colors, thinking they're really beautiful. And when I'm wearing yellow, which is, you know, you've got to find your yellow, but yellow, if you, if you, if you take the plunge in yellow, is one of the most uplifting colors to wear. And as Jess is changing, I'm just going to chat about yellow so okay. we don't see your knickers, Jess. I mean, hey. I'm happy to see your knickers. Um, <laughs> but I think that it's about sometimes, if you have a color which is not entirely the right shade within the color that you wear, put it on your bottom half, yes. You see that, Jess, that's killer. And you know, I love the way you've got, you, you've really been watching all the questions. I love the yes. way you've got the tie <laughs> going into the bottom half onto the yellow skirt. I immediately want to know, where did you get the yellow skirt from? Because it's fabulous. The yellow skirt was an absolute bargain in Kildare Village, which is similar to your, it was a hundred pounds. Where from? The tag is Prada. And how long is uh, it? Um, it goes down to like mid-calf maybe. Oh, it's just, God, yeah. I wish I got that. It's, oh. yeah, I mean, that look together 
you're a million dollars. It's so beautiful. And what it's doing is making both the colors shine. You know, I mean, I, I just, yeah. I want to steal it off you. It's so good. <laughs> um, you can so have I'm, it. If, some, if somebody would like to give a donation to the Breast Cancer Awareness, I promise you, I'll send it to you. Oh I my promise. God. It's, it's amazing. Let, so I say, yeah, the, the tag, tag is still on. The tag, the tag is still on. Fantastic. Is and you got it for a hundred pounds. I mean, my God, you got a bargain. Yeah. And so, so in answer to your question, Jess, I'd say if you love yellow and you love what it represents and the yellow's a bit off, wear it below a color that really suits you. And, you know, purples and yellows are beautiful together. So you can do those together. If you had turquoise, you could do it with the yellow as well. Um, I love burgundy with yellow, but it's more an acid yellow like the top. So for the skirt like that, wear it at the bottom. Don't wear it near your face. It's a skirt. You wouldn't. Um, and wear it with a lilac top. Divine. Now, the yellow, the yellow top, all right, which is that brighter yellow. And let's say you wanted to wear that in winter, because I think it's a beautiful color to wear. Mm. I would consider wearing it with burgundy. I would consider wearing it with... What other colors do I wear? Well, I mean, I wear it with the lilac that you've got on. You know, I have a suit, which is that pinky lilac that I wear with a yellow jacket underneath. And it's one of my favorite looks. So if you think about it like that, you can wear it in winter. Okay. Yeah, they're great. Okay, they're and really great. Really, I have to say, use this opportunity to say a huge thank you to you. Remember I met you in Dublin a couple of years ago. And I do. You really were my inspiration for when I was going through my treatment. And I said this to you that day that I would wake up without a hair on my head and I would watch you in your bathroom. And literally the motivation and the inspiration that you gave me to get out of bed, put on a little bit of foundation, a little bit of blush to try and make myself feel the best that I could possibly be to face the world when it seems like such a dark place and you're challenged with, um, you know, the diagnosis of breast cancer. And yeah. I feel like if you make yourself look good on the outside, you feel that inner strength inside. And there's so many yeah. people that are going through treatment at the moment that I know that are very close to me. And it is a real struggle. But when they make, yeah. you know, take the situation into their own hands and try and make a difference, the makeup is huge. How I wish Trini London makeup was there and how I wish the lash to brow because you know as you said your lashes you know they your brows they frame, frame your face and um that was one huge big thing that I did during my treatment I mean you're an inspiration I have to say thank you thank you so well, you, you really were the inspiration are. to me well I find seeing what you're doing very inspiring and I think that for women out there, Jess, and this is really for women out there who are having a tough time right now, whether it's going through breast cancer or just going through an illness or going through a time when we lose that sense a little bit of who we are. And I think with breast cancer, it's done physically because hair loss for a woman is a huge deal. Um, I've had an infinitesimal amount of that feeling from it. And just also the lack of energy to then make that effort. Because sometimes we need to feel energetic and good about ourselves to make the effort. And it's a much harder push. It takes tremendous determination to turn the Titanic around and say, I'm not going to be this woman. So I love what you just showed me. And I know you're a, a really, really popular member of, of, with lots of inspiration on the Trini tribe. Please continue to do it. Show what, what outfits you're wearing. Give it, it's all about giving inspiration to other women and we can all do it, you know, and we can all do it coming from a place where we think we haven't got it and then we can get to a place where we can share it with other women and that's an incredible, that journey you've been on is incredible. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, darling. All right, Jess, thank you for coming on today and I'm going to now talk to other ladies. So you might have to come off the live because I don't know how to take you off. Okay, so it's no difficult. problem. And then come oh. back in. And okay. I'm going to get on other ladies now. Hi, Blue Eyed Birdie. Hello, Eggs Benedict. Hello, Poppy, Cass, Belle. Um, I mean, just looks fabulous. And it's such really, really inspiring to see that. I love those colors on her. And we can all, you know, we can look at our wardrobe and think, 
it's a sea of black and brown and, and colors that have made us hide away. And, and the concept of how to bring color into your life is really mentally how to bring more energy into your life. You know, how to feel that you can get up that every day and make the most of your day because outwardly it's helping your inward feelings. Hello, Joey the Label. Hello, Meglan. So I'm going to see who else would like to come on. If you've got a star clinic question, I've got a whole load of colors and wardrobes here we can go through. And I just want to have lots more women sharing how they feel, finding style again. So, you know, transforming girl, if you want to come on now and I'm going to ask you to come on, I'm going to see if you will go live because you're saying you've had weight loss and you're wanting to think about how you can go live. So I don't know if you're going to come on. I'm just trying to get people on and see who's coming on. If I do get you on, You've got to get yourself off because I don't know how to do that. Um, so I'm just going to view some requests and I'm just going to go with the top one here. So I'm going to go with um, Marit and just see who comes on. I'm just doing one by one, whoever is next. And um, can we wear, can you wear red with rosacea? You can, darling. I think it's a question of having a smooth base so you don't feel the red of your rosacea um, dominates the red of your outfit. So I would say put on a BFF rebalance a BFF de-stress, get the evenness in your skin tone, focus maybe on a, a sort of peachy blusher like wigs and stuff that isn't red, red. The screen has gone in half. Yes. It's me. Marit? Is that Marit? Yeah. Marit, How do you remember? Darling, pulling I'm your hair going... down and shaking it out because you weren't quite sure you were coming on, darling. Yeah. Oh, nice to see you. Where are you, Marit? I'm uh, from Israel. You are Marit, darling. Tell me, what yes. is your style dilemma? Um, actually, forgive me, but I want to contact you not for my style dilemma, but I want to ask something from the company because I've been uh, lucky enough to have my uh, match to me in Elm's place. Yeah. And um, and uh, 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 makeup was I, wonderful. And I came in the morning and I had... Uh, because I was visiting London, my yep. daughter lived in London, yep. and uh, we went for uh, dinner with friends. And from the morning till the dinner was over, the makeup did not move a smidge. It Good. was really, really wonderful. So when she uh, got her uh, second degree uh, in London, I wanted to come over and to have my makeup uh, done, but unfortunately, it's not possible. So I was thinking. Maybe, fingers crossed, you can uh, do something that uh, people can come over and have uh, makeup. And I, I tell you, I will be there in an yeah, instant. <laughs> we're doing, I'll was... tell you what, Marit, we're doing lots of things next year. And now the world is opening up and people are traveling. I'm really excited by what we're doing. We already have three stores, two of them in London, where you can book an appointment online and go in. And they're amazing makeup artists and they can help you. I would love to do a live event where we can just do a sort of roadshow moment. And I'd love to do that next year. We have a lot at the moment we're looking at doing next year, but I'm going to put that on the list because it was on the list two years ago. I'm going to put it back on the list, having spoken to you. At the Please. Top. Yeah. Okay. And also, thank you very much for bringing over the uh, mascara. And we were waiting for that forever. I know. I know. It's the most, to me, the lash to brow is. The lash to brow. I live without it, darling, because it's so. I, I, already, um, I already bought it, and it's with my daughter because of all tax things. Yeah. And uh, so yeah. I'm waiting to get it. Excellent. On, from your yeah. daughter. Darling, yeah. lovely to speak to you, Marit. And, Thank um, you. And I'll say hi to Liat from you because yes. we are good friends. Oh, do so. say hi to Liat so much. I will. I do miss Israel. And I'll give time to everyone else. Thank you for Thank bringing you me so up. much. All right. Bye. Darling, will you switch off? You can come back in and listen, but just so I can go to the next person. No problem. Thank Brilliant. you. Bye. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. Blue Eye Burby, De Stress is fabulous too. All the BFF products. Thank you so much. Um, Jama, I need to try Shia Shimmer, but I'm on a budget. Um, Shia Shimmer lasts forever, darling. And I wouldn't, I'd just say, take the plunge. You can do it because you're going to find that you can use it on your lips and your cheeks and sometimes even your eyes. Marit's still with us. So I'm going to try and get somebody on. Um, and I would love to do a road show. I'm going to try for Tamara. 
Marit, you've got to come off the live. Sign out, darling, or nobody else can come on. We are doing a live today. If you just joined, it's a style clinic. And what we're doing today is we're getting ladies who feel that they lost Thanks. their sense of style. There you are. Oh my God, I'm now going to get two of you. I love this. Everybody, if you've got your comments on, double click to get them off. Now on the right hand side, who have we got there with your hair back? What's your name, darling? My name is Meglena. 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 Where are Hi. you from, Meglena? I am. I, I live in England. I'm yes. in London actually, but I'm Bulgarian. You're Bulgarian. And I, I didn't expect to get well, on that. Now, Meglena, do you know the subject of our style live today? I do, but I just wanted to say I love this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And I love this. Uh, I mean, it's so, it's ironic, Meglena, that the day I'm doing nothing to do with makeup, all everyone wants to talk about is makeup. No, yes, yeah, no, I just wanted to say, uh, I just wanted to say that. And I love your fashion, and I'm trying to copy everything you do. Actually, I, I, I um, talk in Bulgarian about fashion, health, and I just do the same things you do, and I love you. Thank you for, putting, for getting me on. So my question yep. is actually regarding um, clothes and, 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 and makeup. Um, can we do loud makeup with loud clothes? For example, your neon, uh, neon, I love the neon you have. Okay, it's really um, interesting. This, to me, depends on so many things, because I think that there's some clothes that need loudness for you to wear them. You know, it's like a color that's not in that, you know, I have my, I'm neutral, so I can see a lot of colors. But if you live in very cool and you love a really warm color, to me, I'd say wear it on your bottom half, not near your face, and wear an interpretation of that color on your lip so that you bring them together. So in a way, um, if that woman was wearing the lilac skirt with a yellow top that suited her, but the lilac hadn't suited her, I would say she could wear a sort of bluey pink lip to kind of homage the lilac skirt, but not to wear the color on that was so difficult for her. So like with, with what I'm wearing now, we don't yeah. actually have... We don't have this lip exactly, but how I make this lip, because sometimes I do this as a look, is I will take two shades. Um, I will take um, Phoebe, which I've got to find here. I just picked up Freddie, one second, see if I can find Phoebe. Phoebe's now lost, where's Phoebe? Phoebe, so I pick up Phoebe, and yes. I pick up Cordy, no, Mia. Yeah. Mia. And what I'm going to do yeah. is put them both on. So I'm quite, I've got no eye makeup on now. All right. So yeah. I'm quite like, this is quite a strong color for me. Like when you look at it, you see the color nearly before you see my face. Yes. So that's sometimes when I might think, hell, I'm going to go for that lippy lip moment. So I'm going to put on the Phoebe, which is a pinky red, like that. And then on top, I'm going to put on the Mia. Would you, would you wear this with the neon? Yeah, hold on. Let's see. Oh. So I do yeah. that. So I've got now strength in my face. Now, although it's neon and this is pink, there's a relationship a little bit with the tone of the color. Do you see? There's, it's, not too, yeah. to, it's not too pillar box red or orangey red. So now... I just want to get better light like that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's equal. So there are instances where I do say, hell yes, wear a strong lip um, and just have that. I'm just going to show you my hair because maybe it's better. And then if I'm doing something where it's a strong lip and I'm feeling very tired, I might put on more foundation a little bit. I'm doing rebalance now to give a cleanness. And this is what I'd also say, you don't have this at all, darling, because you've got a pale olive porcelain skin. But if you had redness yeah. and you wanted to do strength of color, sometimes I've, I've, redness. I've got, I've got uh, enlarged pores. So that's why I, I actually, I love this. And maybe I need to balance with something else. Then um, okay. I mean, but... if you've got large pores, do Miracle Blur and rebalance on top, yeah. for sure. Yeah. But, but so yeah. in answer to your original question, can you do loud makeup? Yes. So you picked up a palette which was orange and blues. Now, if you had on like an orange pair of trousers and a blue shirt, 
Yeah. Then I would maybe, I wouldn't do an orange and blue eye. I think that's a little matchy matchy. But I would do a little orange just here, like a little line, not on my eye line, but just at the back here, at the beginning of my brow, like a thin line. And you feel super cool and no other makeup, like clean lip and just that little hint of orange. So it's sort of homaging the orange in your trouser, but it's not clashing. That's, that's the kind of makeup I love when I want to do that kind of look. What about a bit of, uh, uh, if you have blue trousers with a bit of um, yellow, like, like bright yellow, yeah. a little, little bit on top, do you think would go that? You've got a green or blue eye? It depends on the makeup. I don't know. It's just greenish blue. I don't know, honestly. I mean, greenish, I think greenish. that you've got to decide, are you the kind of woman that you want to see your eye makeup before your anything else? Because wearing a yellow eyeliner is a really, like, on a cool black toned skin can look incredible. But on a porcelain olive skin like yourself, I would think maybe, but you've got to be really careful because otherwise it could be like you're doing a Halloween alien concept. Yes. Yeah. You know? um, but if you spend a while and you make a beautiful thin line, I'd have to see it to think actually yeah. does that work, you know? Yeah. That's the thing. All right, exactly. darling. So can, I just ask, yeah. can I just ask a question? Because I talk about your product a lot but in Bulgarian and uh, you, do, you do ship. But would you do um, appearance in Bulgaria or I don't know, I something? Think that what we have to do is look around, now we're opening up and think, where do we have the most people? And I have to kind of go top to bottom. So, you know, for me, I'm going to America next month because we have a lot of customers in America. I'm going to Australia. I'd love to do the end of next year. I went to Germany and Amsterdam because we just launched there and they're very big markets. So as much as I'd love to go to Bulgaria, because I've never been to Bulgaria, and yeah. I'd love to do Bulgaria and Hungary and do the whole lot, yeah. um, it's more scattered. So it would be a while. It would have to, you know, it wouldn't be next year. I'm being really candid with you because there's other places I have to go. But, you know, yeah. as we get a certain amount of customers and you're spreading the word so beautifully, I can't thank you enough, then I thank will come. You know, it's yeah. like, yeah. it's like, Kevin, I'll, field still, of trees, I'll still talk you know? about the product. You build it and I will come. Product. Yes, okay. we will. All right, um, darling. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. I would love to meet you one day when, you're, when you appear somewhere in London. So I when you have so. a feeling. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Darling, will you switch off to come out yes, so we can get other people on? I will. Really? Let me, if you're I will just joining that. us now, we're doing our Mad Style Clinic where I speak to lots of different people around the world. And we're talking about, you know, have you... You know, we start off conversation with an unbelievably inspiring tribe member called Jess. And Jess has, is a breast cancer survivor and she really has been looking at going through hair loss, changing body, feeling very ill and really, you know, getting colors and clothes that make her feel good. And that's what today is about. How can we do that as women? How can we do that on a budget? I would say I've spent the last week trawling through Vestia Collective and secondhand sites. And I think it's so possible to dress and find your sense of what you like but if you're going to be on a budget it's about things like taking you know like if i'm here okay let's just let's just do some let's just do some looking at things all right so when i'm looking i mean i've got so many different types of clothes here but if you if you i know that i can wear a lot of colors and you can see in my wardrobe i have a shitload of colors and i have a lot of clothes but it could be your wardrobe is this Let's say this is your, your closet. You've got to think from what you've got in, what in my closet is a color that brings me joy? Okay, so let's say it's orange. And you say, orange brings me joy and I have one orange thing. Then consider getting something that's orange that goes with it. Because wearing a whole orange outfit like that, I've got a top and a skirt and a top and a dress, sorry, a top jacket and a... Um, and a pair of trousers, will be unbelievably impactful. Then I say to myself, what does orange really go with? So if I look at orange, and let's say this is top color, orange is beautiful with purple. It's beautiful. Orange can work with a salmon, paler orange. Orange is incredible with navy. 
So then you think, okay, of those colors, which ones do you feel you like? You might be somebody where you're very neutral and you've been just wearing sort of variations of black and white and black and white. So how do you go from a neutral palette, like black and white, like that, you can go to texture black and white. So you could do a leopard print black and white. You could do a, this is a PVC uh, snakeskin black and white. This is the Me and M Coord in black and white. You're still taking the two primary colors, but you're softening how they are in your body. You're giving texture to them. Another thing could be that you really love, you know, um, I'm trying to think metallics. You're either silver or gold. Finding one silver piece, I got this piece, you all know I got this piece recently, but that is a piece of tinsel, but beautiful from Dries. Now you could find a silver top. I have so many silver tops I got from H&M anywhere. Putting them under classic clothes. You might have classic suits that are boring. Put a bit of silver under them. Things like this can really change your, how you look at your wardrobe. And that's what we're talking about today. How do you view your wardrobe? Is it your best friend or is it your screaming nightmare because you hate it? Get everything out on a rail if you live in a small property. Buy a, a rail. I buy it from More Plan. They're like 15 pounds. Put everything on a rail and think, what do I wear a lot? What do I not wear very much? And what do I never wear? And what does not fit me? Okay, too big or too small. Does not fit you, get the fuck out the wardrobe. Just don't be confronted on a daily basis with things that challenge you on questioning your size. Love the size you currently are. Because to play the game of when I lose the weight or when I put on the weight or when I'm this or when I'm that, then I will do this, is not living in the now. And to live in the now and to love your body, whatever it is, is about dressing your body with clothes that fit you inside your wardrobe and make you feel good in the colors that you put on your body. So if you wear no makeup, you still feel you're present and that's your best color. So think of things like that. Okay, I'm saying it, aren't I, Rita? I'm really saying it. Ask me questions, ladies. Ask me questions as I try and get more people on. So Elizabeth, I'm gonna see if you would like to be on the live. I don't know if these are the people who are requesting or these are people who let me just see, invite to join. No, we're not gonna do that because that's, um, should we invite Blue Eye Birdie? Do you wanna come on the live? I mean, I'm just inviting people to join when someone else joins. So I'm going to just, you see, I've got requests to join. I've got, so when someone joins, anyone who can see their live videos can also watch this one. So I don't know if these are people requesting to be on the live. Storm Texas, I'm going for you, darling, Storm Texas. I'm going to go for Anna as well. I'm just doing two at once now. What the hell? So, all right, back to where we were. If you're just joining now, we're talking Star Clinic. We're talking how can we fall in love with... Oh, my, oh, it's me. Somebody... <laughs> oh my Lord. Excuse me, what's your name and where are you from? I clicked so many times. My name is Anna. Anna. I'm Portuguese, but I do live in York in the UK. You live in York and your name is Anna? Yes. Hello, my <laughs> darling. Tell me Hi. your style dilemma, my love. So I just have a new baby. Oh, so sweet. Beautiful new baby. Oh my God, she's got it there. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh, oh she's got it. So but, um, I, am back, I am going back to the office soon and I don't know my shape anymore. So I have an outfit and I would like to show you that outfit. And then I also would like you to give me more ideas of how to play with it and what Perfect. colors can suit me. On. I Put have a hairdo. I did, I did the haircut already, so I have the ball. The hair is nice. Okay. The hair is lovely. So okay. you, can see, you, can see the, you can see the body shape first. I'm quite apple, I think. Yeah, you're an apple, Anna, and also you had a baby, so your ribs went a bit wider. They never go back in, by the way. But you're an apple. <laughs> you knew you were an apple before. Um, what are your yes. legs like, Anna? Well, I am, I am five one, so I'm very short, and I have very comfy legs. They are very chunky. Chunky legs. Okay, chunky legs. Yes. That's cool. We can all, lots of us can identify with that feeling of a chunky leg. All right, so what, do you, okay, what so, work do you do? I want to know what work you do as well as your dressing. Do multitasking. I am a travel specialist, so I design holidays for people, which is awesome. So I'm Wonderful. very excited to go back. Please design me a Christmas holiday. I'm so desperate to go away. Um, okay, so you've got on a white top there. Very pretty, the blouse at the front. I love that. That's lovely. The sleeve so I love. I always my go-to is always white and black, and yeah. I kind of just want more color, really, but I don't know what color. Okay, so let me just yeah. see if this is your template. So are you putting on a pair of black trousers, darling? 
Yes. Okay. That and paperback trousers to kind of hide the belly kind of thing. Okay, there we go. Let me see if I can put you further away. Yeah. You're so on it. You are so on it. I love how so on it you are. Fantastic. Okay, Anna. Stand on the bed if you have to, darling. Yeah. Stand on the bed. Can you get up? Okay. Now I you got to get higher. Can you make the phone go more like so I can see you better? Oh, she's standing on the bed. Excellent. Yeah, okay. Anna, come back here, my angel. Come back here. Come back here. Oh. I love that top. I think it's so gorgeous. I think it's great, but you know what the top is lacking? You know what the top is lacking? Okay, let me strip off for you because this is what I want you to do. I'm going to get a white top. Do you have any makeup there? Yes, I do. What do you what did you got? Do you have any bright red lip? No, I never do a red a red lip. I need to have you. <laughs> you don't have a bright red lip. No, I don't. Okay, so you know what, Anna? I need to get one. <laughs> you know what you need to get because this is all you need, darling. So you have this one. You've got your white shirt and it's a really lovely white shirt. I love that it has pattern. I love the fact that you are boobed with apple and you've got you've got it around neck because it's putting all the color at your face. But you need an f off lip to just go I'm back with a vengeance. That's that to me is like the key. I think it is the most lip. So, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what I think you should get because with your skin hair and eye, oh my god, I got it here. Bloody hell, so irritating. I want to get Swainy which I don't have. Let me see what. Okay, I'm going to do Rossi. Okay. So, Anna, Anna, mm -hmm. look at me. Yes. So, I'm here. You've got your white, you've got sharp white. You can just do clean skin and a really really red lip like this, look. Oh wow. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> you know? Like that. And that look It's a powerful look. You know, you're going back to work, you had the baby, and you're probably feeling other people in the office have been there for ages doing their things, going on their promotions, everything. You're back. Yeah. You're feeling that slight I'm a mum. I've got to catch up. but all you need yeah. to know is you've been through a life experience which probably the ones who are not mothers haven't even encountered yet and have no idea of how it's going to be with them and that gives you power anna <laughs> so there it's now powerful. a little you know a red lip with white bo bom okay yep that will really do something and then make sure your skin feels fresh because you're going to have that little baby if you're going back to work soon is the baby sleeping through the night yet yes yeah, she is she's oh amazing God, what a dream she is okay so you still <laughs> might feel your stretch because being a young mum and being back no work, yes yes so very much so <laughs> make sure you do a really nice under eye concealer you know bffi something like that so you have that clean under eye nice bit of mascara and a red Ooh. lip so you have very little time in the morning you've got to get her up you've got to feed her you've got to get yourself together so you want minimal effort maximum impact so literally that's your makeup anna that's your makeup amazing you know amazing like bff rebalance will last all day you've got a slightly oily skin rossy lip to cheek and lash to brow and you're done you don't have to fuck with anything else that's it yeah okay. what other colors do you think i can put on on the top part that would suit my complexion okay on the top part are your eyes hazel yes they are the hazel and you have um a dark hair cool dark hair and a sort of pale yeah. pink toned skin okay so oddly oh look at that baby can you just bring her up again for those of us who are never going to have children again in our lives oh no just stay still stay still oh, she's so sweet oh my god she's so sweet I'm I'm literally having you know sort of I'm I'm literally producing milk as I'm talking to her. put it down it's going to take me too far I've just been having a little barney with Lila so I'm just thinking wait till they're 17 but you've got years and they'll be divine and they're always <laughs> divine they drive us insane but they're always divine back to your color or palette I'm going to make a suggestion to you my angel Are you ready Yeah go for it Ooh orange I don't have any orange. Okay, I'm just going to suggest you orange. Also, also 
weirdly for you, and I have none of this color here, but it will suit you, is like a beautiful fawn, white with fawn, you know, like a, like taupe. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Really chic. So if you had like a charcoal gray trouser and a taupe coat with a white jacket, white shirt, beautiful on you. But bright colors, if you were standing in front of me now, I would probably put you in orange. I might put you in red, but I would be aware which red. Maybe it wouldn't be, I don't know yet because it's very difficult through the screen to think, are you tomato red or are you, you know, um, more of a, I think Rossi is good. I mean, if you found like Zara had a red coat and a red trouser in last week, I did yesterday. If you look on my Instagram from yesterday, I dressed a woman with exactly your coloring in my Zara film I did yesterday on my feed, which you can watch on YouTube. And she had long dark hair, forget about her because she was tall and, and different shapes to you, but her skin hair and I were the same. And she looked great in red and she looked great in fawn and I would have put her in orange, but it wasn't in the store. Amazing, thank you so okay. much. All right, darling. And can I just say my love, you've got one of the sweetest looking baby. I mean, so <laughs> sweet. So sweet. Thank you. Um, all right. You. I'm going bye. to just say thank you so much and thank you for coming on the show. Bye bye. Thank bye -bye, you darling. so much. Bye bye, darling. There we go. Oh my goodness, how wonderful. How divine was she? I mean, really? That baby. That baby. There we think we're over motherhood. And then you just look at a baby and you just think, you know, I know. Good luck to Anna too, because that thing, you've had a baby and you're going back to work. Um, very true. Is there anyone also here? We were starting this conversation with the lovely Jess talking about women who've gone through breast cancer and it's still breast cancer awareness month. So is there anyone here who's going through chemo or coming out the other side? I know it's tough to be on a platform where you don't know people, but all I can tell you is the group of women who are on here now are the nicest women in the entire world and you're in a safe space to share. So if anyone feels they'd like to share that they're feeling like they really want some help, then please um, come on board. All right, so if any of you can see that or any of the Trini tribe can see that or my, my team here can see that there's somebody who wants some help, Faith, who's saying they're in that situation. Um, okay, yeah, okay, we'll keep an eye out. And just whilst you're here, yes, we are going to be in New York for those of you who are up. I mean, I can't imagine who is up now in America at this time, but we're gonna be in New York at Saks from the 11th to the 24th of November, and I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna come to America. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello, Hi. my darling. What's your name? My name is Eva. I am from Crete, from Greece. Eva, how oh. are you? Are you in Crete right now, Eva? Oh, Eva, are you in? Darling, can yes, you yes. hear me? Are you living in Crete? And Ava? Hello, I'm with no makeup. I was just uh, getting ready to, to take my daughter to the doctor because uh, she has a, a flu. Uh, I just wanted to, to say I admire you. And um, it's a pity uh, you don't uh, ship your, your beautiful products to Greece. I know, to Greece, I know. And I'm sorry we don't. We had such problem with the shipping and it was such a bad experience for the customer that we couldn't oh. because they just didn't, you know, want, we got it there. But then the local shippers were just adding on taxes that they weren't meant to add on. And we had such problems that at the moment we suspended it until we find a local shipper taking over from our DHL who will deliver it, not with adding on yet more uh, taxes, because it was incredibly unfair to the consumer. So I'm so sorry. Maybe find a friend in another country who they can send it there and then they send I, it to you. I'm, I'm planning to, to have a, 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 a trip to London next month. So I will Well, then come to Fennec. Come to Fennec. Yes. Get your, you know, book it online so you have it, because it's getting super busy. All our appointments are mani manically busy. So please book online. You can walk in the store and there'll be people there. But if yeah. you book online, you get 45 minutes. You sit down with the makeup artist. They look at you. They, they ask you what your needs and wants are, what your mm -hmm. budget is, what do you want? And then they really help you. Okay, okay. Um, right. 
Ever seen a door map? Yes, it's a pretty nice thing. I was caught by surprise. I, I haven't. I thought uh, any 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 question. I just wanted to tell you that you are my inspiration. My wardrobe is. Uh, I'm copying your wardrobe. It's uh, in the size uh, one of the one hundred of yours. But I have introduced uh, uh, color in my wardrobe. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, this is just. That's just well. That's so lovely. Yes. I'm so glad I can be a part it's, of the inspiration. It's unbelievable. Just... I'm shaking from from my. Oh, mind. but darling, you know what? Many people watch me and then just think I can't do something. So it takes you at the end to make those changes. I'm just a little conduit to give you some some ideas of things. But well done, and I'm I'm so happy you're enjoying that change. All right, yeah. darling. Well, I yeah. can't wait. If you come to the UK, I hope that we'll catch up with you. Okay, okay. I... Bye bye. Now, so adorable. I wanted to say here, yeah, I want to go back, Julie. I'm four weeks post breast cancer surgery. I'm awaiting chemo in the UK. It's incredibly hard to stay strong. Julie, I think there's many women on here who have been in your situation. So, anyone else who it has been going in exactly the same place that Julie is. Please, part, you know, comment to her directly. And after this live, leave your comments. I think it'd be really helpful just for people to leave comments about what they've gone through, their experiences, and what helped them. Because this is what this live is about: women helping women. Um, all right, darling. I'm going to do a few more. So I'm now going to go on to Madison Agostino. If we can get hold of Madison, I'm just going there. Those are the ones who I think are requesting to be on, I'm hoping. Um, Catherine, hello, Catherine, welcome. Are you here, Blue-Eyed Birdie? Blue-Eyed Birdie is there. Blue-Eyed Birdie, Booth Cockapoo, nattering away, lovely ladies. Um, and, oh, Blue-Eyed Birdie, it was your birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. God, I feel bad. Yesterday was a very, like, day I didn't put my head up above the parapet. Happy birthday for yesterday, darling. Um, and is it Booth Cockapoo today? Oh my God, you're one day apart. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Can we get them on? Can we get them on? How can I? Oh yes, blue, go. Okay, all right, Blue Eyed Birdie. Go live with Blue Eyed Birdie. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. It's her birthday, for goodness sake. Come on, Blue Eyed Birdie. Come on. Come on, darling. Come on, darling. She probably is naked, hasn't got dressed yet. Um, happy birthday to me, Booth Cockapoo. Booth Cockapoo, will you come on? Booth Cockapoo, can you come on? Because I can't get them go live with Booth Cockapoo. I mean, come on, ladies, some of you, come on, please. It's very difficult technically. Technically, it's not happening yet. We'll get there. Fenella from Australia here. I've been clearing out my wardrobe today and styling up with some Serena Butte Neon. Fantastic. New York, New York, Stacey. I'm so excited to be coming. Yvonne, me too, waiting for radiotherapy. Four weeks in one, and then awful tablets that put you in a menopause again. Yvonne... It's a fucker. Um, so in that sort of holding pattern, could you be looking forward and thinking, all right, let's just have this moment. Maybe you're taking time off work. I don't know. Just look in that wardrobe and think, what do I want to change? What do I want to change? You know, see if you can do that. Can I just say, um, Booth Cockaboo, Blue Eyed Birdie and Booth Cockaboo, I tried to get both of you on and I'm saying go live and it's not letting me go live, which is really irritating really irritating so i'm gonna to have to see somebody else um so let's go live with daphne 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 love the name daphne why can't i go live with you blind birdie and booth cockapoo all right divorce and then allow myself to buy clothes again evie it's another fantastic moment to rethink your routine think who do you want to be now you were one person for yourself and for your partner and for your family and now it's like who do you want to be for you that's the most invigorating you know just it's such a freeing moment whilst I can't get any money on the live I don't know why but I just have to tell you that there's been times in my life I dress for other people and when I woke up and decided I want to dress for myself was probably the time in which I felt I fitted in my own skin or I wanted desperately to fit in my own skin and it helped me to fit in my own skin and it allowed me to just say, this is me. You know, so sometimes walking down the street with Lila wearing bright yellow, she's like, oh, mommy. And I'm like, Lila, this is me. This is me. So you be you and this is me. And 
you know, when you um, separate from somebody, that's also a big moment in which to say, you know, this is who I want to be today. Um, will I offer style advice to men too? I take your star tips and try to adapt them to my wardrobe. I so will. I so will. Can I just say Blue Eyed Birdie and Booth Cockapoo, why can't we go live with you? Why can't we go live with Blue? You're in your dressing gown. So what, Blue Eyed Birdie? Come on. I'm going to try and go live with you again, Blue Eyed Birdie. Does it matter you're in your dressing gown, darling? She declined. She's in the dressing gown. Booth Cockapoo. Oh, darling. Booth Cockapoo rejested. Booth Cockapoo rejested to join. Okay, Booth Cockapoo, I'm going to go to you now. Go live with Booth Cockapoo. Come on, what's going on? Now, give it time. You think I've frozen up and you'll be like, oh my God, there's Booth Cockapoo. Oh, can I just say hello, darling? Booth Cockapoo, Morning, how Jenny. are you? <laughs> are you all right? There's a, can you pick up that dog and get it to say hi? Because really, he's the star of the show. All right, just get him. Booth Cockapoo has this, obviously, why is her Instagram handle called that? It is the cutest cockapoo. And um, it, it's really front and center of your life, my darling. Let me see. Can you hold, can you hold him up? Hold him up. Like, right up. You've got to hold him up to your face. Go on, hold him up to your face. We want to see the bloody dog. Okay. You're, oh, because you're holding the phone. Get your son or husband just to hold the phone for a second for you. Come on. Or are you in the, or where are you? Booth, where are you, darling? You're having breakfast. I'm having a birthday breakfast in a coffee shop. Oh my God, happy birthday. <coughs> I'm just gonna leave you to it. Happy birthday, Booth Cockapoo. <coughs> it's insane I call you Booth Cockapoo, isn't it? It's insane. Darling, happy birthday and um, have the best day. And for Blue Eye Birdie, who I tried to get Thank on you. in a dressing gown, is Boo the Cockapoo not know the Cockapoo? It's Boo the Cockapoo. Boo is the Cockapoo. <laughs> happy birthday, darling. Happy birthday. Oh, no, she's going to come off. Oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That is just, I mean, he is so edible. And I think so many people have seen him. Um, darling, you having a nice day with friends? Thanks, Jenny. Now, for those of you, can I just say, can I say your real name? Or do you only want to be Boo Cockapoo on Instagram? It's Amanda. Amanda's birthday today. Can we say happy mm -hmm. birthday, Amanda? All right, darling, have the best day. Catch up with you. Bye. Amanda is, um, I don't know if Amanda was shell-shocked or felt what's she doing interfering with my birthday this morning but anyway wishing you the loveliest birthday matter um and um also blue-eyed belly for yesterday so we're talking style clinic we're talking style challenges i'm trying to get people on the live and it's going well we've had quite a few people on now i'm going to do a couple more susan saunders come on come on in faith i'm having a bit of trouble getting people on are you there faith yeah is is coming on Oh, no, I'm just, I'm, oh, yes, yes. Hello? Yes. Hello, you're watching. It's Trini. Oh, oh, yes, I know. How are you, darling? Just say hi. Just say hi. 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 Okay, my daughter. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. hi darling. <laughs> How are you? Where are you? Um, Wales in a caravan. <laughs> oh, darling. How's life? Have you got a question? Um, you're watching. You've been um, watching everybody. Have you got any questions you'd mm -hmm. like to ask me? Mm -hmm. Have you any questions you'd like to ask me? Um, yeah. Um, I haven't really. I just want to say I think you're amazing. Darling, you know what happens? I really, really do. On the, on, when I do these lives, 
it says a list of people. And I think they're all requesting to join. But what I'm realizing, it's just all the people watching. So I'm just clicking on them. And then I think I'm catching people who, like you, having a morning cuppa, thinking, what the fuck is Trini doing coming on my phone? Do you know what? I'm saying? Like, my daughter pressed this on. I thought, I'm going to kill I'm still in my pyjamas. Oh, darling. Oh, oh darling. Now you're so not... I'll, I'll let you go, but I love you. All right. Well, lovely to catch you in the morning having a cuppa. <laughs> All right. Catch up again. Thank you. Call me when you got bye, some clothes bye, on. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, that's so fun. I love that. Her daughter saying, answer it, mum, answer it. That's what daughters are for. You have questions where? I have questions about body shape and length. Okay, let's see if I can get you on. Go live with Erin Clue. I've got you. That's the way I'm doing it. I'm going on to the questions. I forget this every time I'm on a bloody live. This is the way to do it. Every time I'm on a live. All right, please. I request this lady to be on my live. She requested to be on the live. Let's see if it works. Best way to minimize hips. Lisa. If you feel you've got broad hips and a narrow top, you know the best thing to minimize hips? I'm gonna show you. So, take any from anywhere, go and buy t-shirts with padding in them. That one is from Good American, from Selfridges Expensive. That one is from Zara, 19 quid. This one is from Mango. And these shoulder pads will broaden your shoulders and narrow down your hips. And that is the secret. It's not about hiding. It's not always about hiding or, you know, you could sort of wear a gilet and, and, and hide them, but it's about making your body in proportion. It's always about, for me, being making your body in proportion. So if you feel your pear shape, make your shoulders broader. It will make your waist smaller, an extra added bonus, and your hips will feel more in proportion. So that's my trick for doing it. Um, I'm trying to introduce more color, but I can't find much to buy. Tips on good shops for affordable neon and bright colors, thanks. You know what, darling? I would say it's, it's secondhand shops sometimes. Now, neons are quite new things. So if you go to sort of Oxfam, you might find the clothes are a little bit older and the sort of trend of neon hasn't filtered through to like, you know, Sue Ryder or um, Trinity Hospice, all those lovely um, secondhand shops, which are for charity. But if you go onto resale sites, like if you went into, so I'm gonna do this right now and show you. Like I have been obsessed the last few days with Vestiaire Collective only because I was looking for some specific thing and I found it. So when I go on this site, it's, it's, there's literally 10 million pieces of clothing on this site. So I go on and I'm just gonna put in see what comes up. Let's just try it for you for now. I was looking at a Bottega bag. Let's go away from that mistake. Um, I'm gonna do ne yellow neon, yellow neon top. Just see what comes up, yellow neon top. So I'm getting an Alexander Wang t-shirt. It's, um, fuck me, 110 pounds, that's expensive. I'm getting a Celine neon top. These are all expensive. I'm getting a Zara neon t-shirt, 14 quid, okay, there. Um, and you can put in your size, so it just shows you stuff in your size. I love using it. You could get some brilliant neon trainers. Um, you could get a yellow bag. You could get um, a shirt. Um, you could get a dress. You could get a t-shirt. Um, you can get you know, a blouse, lovely blouse here. I mean, there's a ton of me on there. I do that, you know, can't always rely on shops nowadays because shops, first of all, they're gonna put what's in the season. And funnily enough, yellow, Pantone yellow, the exact Pantone yellow of Trini London was in fashion this year. So everything is yellow. I got this scarf. Oh, I got the scarf from Loewe. Expensive, all right, like, but that, it's like I'll put over any coat and I've got my pow of color. Um, and it's gonna change so much of my wardrobe. So what can those things do that change your wardrobe and change your, sorry, I'm gonna pick all these up. Change your state. I'm gonna show you another one. Just if you, this is also, can I just say, why haven't I mentioned this before? Great trick to find out what color suit you. Just start to buy them in scarves, but not like, little lady like scarves, mad scarves like this. This is one of my best buys. You know, this scarf, I mean, God damn, I wish they made again. Warehouse, like 20 quid. There's a brownie color. There's a pinky color. 
and there's a red color. Now, scarves are one of the best ways to work out color palettes. And I have taken inspiration. And in fact, I'm gonna do a class of confessions on this where you, you get a scarf and you think, if that all looks beautiful together, I could wear that as an outfit. So the amount of times I've been inspired by this and I've worn an outfit, like I've worn the burgundy coat I have with this scarf. I've worn, you know, a red dress with this scarf. So it's the cost per wear investment of that baby. And you might find that, you know, do eBay faux fur scarves from a warehouse. You might get one for 10 quid. I mean, that's like changed my wardrobe. On the other end of the scale, if I have it here, because I've got to have it here somewhere, is my mad scarf. This. So this, I mean, look at that color. You know when you suit a color that your whole face changes color? So that makes your whole face change color. Um, and that's where you can really understand what colors should you wear near your face. Because as soon as you wear colors that really, really suit you, you needn't have any makeup on. And it would change you and it would change, like I'm already like feeling lively because I'm in that color. So think about that as a start for those of you in an embryonic stage of working out which colors and whatever you do, please, I beg of you, don't wear that color with black. Please don't wear that color with black, okay? But that's like scarves are amazing to give you that, amazing. Like I'm gonna show you a couple more where I got inspiration of outfit, okay? Now, let's go, let's go to the scarf location, I'm on a roll. All right, I just might, might have this, certain things here I mustn't show you because there's things I'm doing. Okay, so here, scarves. Now, here. These all beautiful colors together. Who would have thought a weird green goes with that lovely blue? But how beautiful does it look? That a sort of dark teal goes with the sort of deep, dirty powder blue. Um, then here, who would have thought that this weird goldy color goes with blue? Um, and then this, I love, that sort of soft pink goes with green. Look, pink and green, look how beautiful those colors are together. Um, here, these are all my Vuitton ones, but those colors, they're all nice together. Um, I love as well for the lady. Do you remember the lady at the beginning who was saying, what color palette should I wear? Like she could wear this color palette. You can't see this here. Let me do that like that. But like those colors together, browns and grays and whites, so beautiful together and chic as hell. And then look at the end here, a little bit of green. I think I got that from Stella McCartney. But that has inspired me for so many outfits. Um, just classic gray and white. You know, beautiful together, gray and white. Um, blues again together. Um, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. But, but an another way is to go to patterns. Like, if you want to wear block colors together, see which patterns go well together. Like, um, this is weird, isn't it? You'd think, would those colors go together? But, you know, the pink and the, the sort of green, like those, gr the green and the blue. Beautiful. If you had a green shirt with a blue, raw blue suit. Fabulous. Um, you know, one of my favorites is um, purple and red. So beautiful together. Um, and you can wear these singularly, not as a pattern. Another one, lilac with that light, bright green. Beautiful together. People spend forever creating patterns. You know, another one, if you suit sort of neutrals, that sort of sludgy, weird yellow, with gray and white. You could have a, you know, a gray skirt with a white shirt and a yellow coat. Divine. So these are the kinds of things I really want you to think about when you're thinking about your wardrobe and clothing and what's gonna make your heart sing, what's gonna make you happy, because dressing should make you happy. And going back all the way to the beginning of what this live was about, it's really, especially when we're going through times that drain us emotionally and physically, it is the time when the more you can, even if you just have five great outfits and you rotated them every bloody day, and Monday was that outfit, Tuesday was that outfit, maybe the weekend is just sweatpants, you're going to feel whatever else is happening, that there's a part of you that's facing the world with optimism and like this. <laughs>